Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making this very cool air or BB gun. And I just made this in my garage, and the goal of this project was to make this little rifle or whatever, machine gun, whatever you want to call it, out of parts that you can find at pretty much any hardware or auto parts store. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it really quickly now, and then we're going to go ahead and do a shooting test. Be sure to stay around for that. It's quite powerful and I'm excited to show you guys the damage. So let's get started. So what you will need for this project and in no certain order is some copper brake line. Just these small 3 6 stuff I believe. You're going to need a rubber hose that fits over the brake line as well as a tighter rubber hose that fits over the brake line. I have a vacuum line T, a hose clamp, some zip ties, and a few tools such as scissors, screwdrivers, drill, drill set, as well as the main component, which is a tire filler air gun. This is the type that reads the pressure, but really it's irrelevant. And any type of handle equipment you like, as you can see, I have this uh, angle iron for tightening up your tires, but really anything from a wrench to a ratchet will do. So the first step to building your air gun is to make the body. Now I won't take it apart because it's pretty self-explanatory, but basically here is my tire filler. And then what I've done is use this little ratchet strap or whatever you want to call it and just ratchet it in a convenient location, the angle iron to the gun. And then of course I have a, the proper size fitting on there and you know it's the proper size because when you get your copper tubing it's approximately the same diameter as you can see just like that. And just a little pro tip when using these guys you obviously have the option for a flathead screwdriver or the hexagonal nut on the outside and I always opt for the nut because you can torque it down a lot easier it's not going to fall off and when you torque it up nice and tight the body of your gun is not coming loose. So the next step is to make your barrel and this is a multi-step process. Basically, um, the main portion of the barrel is made out of this copper piping. So first, obviously, you want to bend it as straight as possible. And you may be thinking how inefficient it is if it has a little bend in it. But because we're using a ball rather than a pellet, they actually roll down these barrels very easily. All you have to do is clean up the ends when you cut them. I'll get to that in a second. But basically, first things first, measure out your barrel. So say you want to make it about that big, go ahead and take it off with a saw. But when you do that, the end of the barrel, let me see if I can focus for you guys, has a little burr on the inside, which as you guys just saw, prevented me from putting the BB in the end. So to fix that, go ahead and grab your drill and drill bit. Put the drill in the drill, drill bit in the drill, of course. And then, as long as it's the proper size drill bit, just go up and down the inner diameter of the tube, move it around a little bit, and that should take off the burr enough to allow you to slide the BB in. Next up, for the loading mechanism, as you can see, I've made this little slider out of the T that I mentioned. But before you do that, you must take that same size drill bit you were using earlier which is the same dimension as the inside of your tube and go ahead and drill a hole right through the tube. I won't show you guys on camera because it's pretty self-explanatory. And then you take your T here. I got one of these really cool multi-layered ones and then by cutting it at the correct dimension, so in my case it's here and here, you can go ahead and slide it over top and that will leave you with something like this which allows you to load in a BB, slide it back over top, fire, then when you want to reload, open it up, just like a real sniper rifle. Then the very last step is this blue piece of tubing. The purpose of this blue piece of tubing, which I mentioned very briefly earlier, is to connect your barrel to your power source, which has a barb fitting in my case, just like this. But before we do that, we have to find a way to attach the barrel to the body of the gun. To do this, we're going to be using the piece of hose that I mentioned earlier. 
So all you have to do is cut two pieces off about say half an inch or just over one centimeter thick. As you can see I've already done that for my prototype model. And then what you do is slide it over top of one end of the barrel and over top of the other end. So it'll essentially be sitting just like this and then go ahead and connect your blue piece of tubing right here. Barb fittings can be kind of tough to get on but the nice thing is is you don't have to use any connectors and even at our operating pressure of 80 to 100 psi you don't have to worry about that guy or that guy falling off. So the purpose of those is to prevent this from becoming clamped to the barrel so you can still move this back and forth. So to finish off the gun and connect the two items together, we're just going to be using the zip ties, placing them around the entire setup like this. And then by placing the little insulator in between, we can go like this, tighten it up, then use some side cutters, cut off the slack, and as you can see, it'll keep the barrel pretty secure with two of them. All right, so here goes our shooting test. I forgot to mention, I'm basically just using these ball bearings that can also be purchased at a hardware store for ammo, but they're equivalent to .177 caliber BBs for your pellet gun, or BB gun, I guess I should say. And our air compressor here is currently unplugged, but I have the tank held at approximately 100 PSI, which is what we will be using for this shooting test. And we will be shooting at that little pizza box over there, then maybe a bug spray and a little tin. So let's go ahead, load it up, and see what we can do, shall we? All right, so go ahead and open up the barrel. I'll try not to get in the way. Load in one BB to start, and then we'll do shotgun style. So, oop, dropped it, trying to look at the camera. So there goes one BB, close it up, and shoot the pizza box in three, two, one. Straight through, obviously. And I'll show you guys live so you don't think I edited it. I'm putting in now three shots. Kind of hard to show you guys, but there's three shots. One. Let it fall back. Two and three. Close the barrel up again. Let's shoot the pizza box one more time. Three, two, one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and try the bug spray container. It's empty, so it shouldn't explode on us. Of course, I'm wearing safety glasses because shooting metal can cause ricochets. Load in your BB. Firing at the um, off container in three, two, one. All right, so here's the damage. The off container is kind of hard to see. It made a dent, but nothing too spectacular. I think you can kind of see where it took off the paper there. And a few other places have a little bit of damage. But on the pizza box, you can clearly see that it does work kind of well. So there's the first shot. I wasn't really trying to aim, but I don't think the aim's that terrible. Then the second shot, I did a three round shotgun shell. So as you can see, the spacing, the grouping's not terrible. There's one, there's another, and there's the third one. So not bad. You can probably put a whole handful in there if you really wanted to. They'd be slower the more you put in, but obviously kind of fun to shoot at. So there it is, everyone. The hardware store BB gun. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to see more cool projects, explosions, etc., please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And a quick, quick shout out to my other channel called JD Mods. I'll put the link in the description below. Here's the new addition. This is a Lexus LS400, along with, of course, the new Turquoise RSX. And my car over there, the Lexus GS300. So be sure to go give that channel a subscribe as well. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, click the picture on the screen to watch a real life treasure hunt by JD's Variety channel. Be sure to tell them I sent you. We've been friends on YouTube for a long time now and enjoy helping each other build our channels. If you like my videos, I'm sure you'll like his too, so go give him a subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.